guys hi welcome back to my channel hey what's up my name is angie all right thank you all so much for being here today i'm sorry i've been skipping a lot of weeks recently and truthfully i just didn't want to put on makeup and put on clothes i don't want to put on basura every time i'm going to show you so i always try to look my best when i do show myself in front of the camera and truthfully I'm still not recently. I don't even dress up for work anymore. <laughs> and then I realized apparently I'm having it okay pa kasi all these TikTok people, all these TikTok stars, they get dressed up every day, they get made up every day, they put so much effort into their videos and they do that every day and me I do it once a week so why not? Shoot, that's just a sign of laziness. Anyway, so today we are going to talk about something really close to my heart, and I am going to tell you what it's really like to live in Baguio. So, as you guys know, and if you've been watching my previous videos, you know that I'm currently here in Baguio City. But what you guys do not know is that I was born and raised here. So I'm going to tell you guys little, well, not really little, but facts about living here in Baguio City that you know, might otherwise surprise you. Because being immersed in barring the culture of Manila, barring sometimes there are things about people here and the things we do here that might surprise other people from other places of the Philippines. So I'm going to start off Right now. Number one, here in Baguio City, we always get dressed for the occasion. No matter what occasion that is. So whether pupunta na tayo sa palengke, BAM! Pupunta tayo para mag iyaw iyaw BAM! Or kahit kakain lang sa karinderya, BAM! Always dressed to the T. Me personally, hindi ako sa nice mga taong nalalabas ng bahay na naka shorts lang and t-shirt. Because growing up, we've always, always been used to, you know, dressing up for whatever occasion. Maybe it's because of the weather here, because it's cold. Here kasi parang whether we just go to the grocery or the palengke, we dress up, we dress our best, ganyan. Wear rubber shoes, ganyan, and our jeans, and our nice jackets and stuff. Even for very, very simple things, even if you're just visiting a friend's house, we always have to be dressed up for the occasion. Number two is, uh, people here speak really good English. Now, especially the much older people, the much older citizens of Baguio, lalo na yung mga natives, yung mga locals, sobrang gagaling nila mag-English. You'll actually be surprised. Well, as you know, Baguio was established by the Americans and is primarily an American city back in the 1900s. So, that culture was very ingrained in the locals here. So even the natives here, the Igorots, ganyan, and then the people, the Ibaloys, they speak really, really good English. And sometimes with that Western accent pa. Which is so cool because if you feel like you have to go to Canada, Texas, or whatever else. And this also explains our love for country music here in the city of Pines. So when you ride a taxi here, always it's 99.9 .9 country. Yeah, like that. <laughs> it's the fact, guys. And then our obsession with, uh, ouch, and our obsession. Sorry, I have a dog here. It's a curling pincher. Anyway, he's been biting me. Sakit. Uh, ouch. Jeez. Uh, yeah, and this also explains our love for leather, jackets, boots, and the likes. Actually, when you talk to people here, it's sobrang galing nilang mag English, and they're so, so fluent and eloquent when you talk to them. So even if you, even if they don't speak English, my English words silang bini mix in with Filipino or Ilocano. So, you in this, in this post yan, mga ganun. Um, shit, hindi talaga mo rin. Okay, lo, um, so you check that man out. Ay, so you check that out, ngay. Pero may mga ganong classing lingo. Sorry, that was total crap. That was such a bad word. I'm so sorry. I'm, I don't speak English that well. Number three is you can never make that sobrang layo excuse. Everything here in the city of Pines is just one jeep away or two jeeps away at the maximum. 
it's not like Manila that you have to hop on several forms of transportation just to get to one place. No, it's not like that. Everything here is like a grid and it's very, very organized. Everything can be reached by one ride or two rides maximum. So you can never say, parang ang layo, tinatamad ako, it will take me hours to get here. You can never make that excuse here. So when people ask you to come, you have to come and you have to be there on time because there's no excuse for you to be late here. Even though I was always late in high school. Ang kaban na mukha ko. But yeah. Plus, walking here is a way of life. So if you can't reach your destination by a jeep or taxi, you can walk and that's okay because it will take you like 30 minutes max to get to the town proper unless you live really really far number four is we have two climates here and it's morning and afternoon which is kind of funny and weird because in the morning the weather is so nice it's such a beautiful day and then come afternoon it will just be cold and frigid and rainy and wet so no matter how good the day looks in the morning you have to bring an umbrella with you and a jacket always next is people here try to be as disciplined as they can so as you can see here in this video people just really try to follow um the rules set about by the covid covid task force ganyan I guess it also helps that the systems here are pretty organized. Kaya we get to be like this. Whether or not they are, people just try to be as disciplined and just, you know, just try to be good citizens at all times. So one example here is yung pag sa jeep. Para siyang honesty jeep na lang. So the driver doesn't ask for uh, bayads anymore. They just put a box behind their ano, behind the driver's seat and then people just can choose to pay however they want. I see people talaga pay much more than ano, much more than the minimum fare. Which is great guys because we just try to help each other out here. Next is food is affordable here, especially the vegetables. When I tried living in Manila, putya yung sayote, 60 pesos isa? Okay lang ba? Tumutubo lang yung sa bakuran namin. <laughs> here in Baguio City, Gulay is cheap and people buy their food from the palengke. Ewan ko ba kung bakit may stigma na kapag sa palengke ka namamalengke, eh, poor ka. Ewan ko ba sa mga tao dun sa kung saan ako nanggaling. Here in Baguio City, no matter who you are, however rich you are, you go to the market to buy your food. Always, okay? Salad here is a normal, normal staple. So, hindi siya pa social na sexy or whatever it's always just part of every meal para di lang may gulay na extra so actually if you must know we in this house know 101 ways to cook sayote just a fact of life minsan pag wala na talaga makain pitas pitas lang sa bakuran ganyan next is you rarely see politicians faces plastered on public structures here so i don't know i've been to a lot of places and always, all the time, walang palya. Parati ako makakita ng mga politicians na nakalagay mga pangalan nila, mga mukha nila sa mga public structures. Here in Baguio City, you rarely see that. If not, not at all, di ba? I don't know, maybe the politicians here are more politically mature or whatever. Pero never, parang never ako naka-experience ng ganun, ganun ka mga politiko dito sa Baguio City. The only time that I've ever seen one of those is when they were building this walkway in Burnham Park. Burnham Park before and then may malaking tarpaulin na kalagay. Paid for and initiated by the people of the city of Baguio. Tapos may maliit na line lang kasi sobrang liit. Hindi mo mababasa kapag hindi ka lumapit. Nakalagay. Initiated by councilor. Ganyan. And that's it. No faces, no bigger names, whatever. Next is branded items here are extra legitimate. So here in Baguio City, it's very, not very, but it's very easy to find like real branded items sa mga ukay-ukay. So, and they come actually cheap sometimes. Because the people who are selling them do not even realize that they're valuable. So when you see people here wearing Gucci, Chanel, and all, and the likes, you better believe that they could be real. They could be the real thing. Normal lang siya. Even the, tin the tinderas. They wear Louis Vuitton pouches. I'm like, girl! 
Sobrang normal ng branded stuff. Actually, what makes you rich here is when you can buy mga, ano, mga stuff like H&M and Uniqlo. I mean, personally, kasi a lot of people would just rather buy um, okay stuff. Uh, but when you buy brand new items from those cosmopolitan stores, it kind of makes you yaman. Yeah, I don't know. Just me, personally. I'd rather buy from okay kasi. Next is, this is a no-heel city. I do not need to explain why you do not want to wear heels here. You will break your ankle. I'm not kidding. The only place you can wear heels is in the office and in school. But otherwise, if you're going to school or going to work, you wear your slippers, you wear your rubber shoes. That's it. Number 11 is every place is a coffee place. And it just depends on your age and your social group. Kite na ano pa yan, kite pizzeria pa yan, food court, every place here in Bayu City is a coffee place. You can drink coffee, stay there for hours, and just like talk with friends and stuff. Uh, may certification yan, okay? Kapag moms ka, mga tita, na medyo yamin, ganyan, your normal hangout would be Solibao Baguio. And if you're a lolo and you want unlimited coffee or refills, you go to Volante. And if you're young like me, we have a lot of other places that we can go to. We drink coffee everywhere. Next is parades here are a thing. We celebrate every single little thing here in the city and we do parades for it. So, anniversary of the Boy Scouts, parade. Anniversary of City High, parade. Christmas party ng UP, parade. Sometimes it's wala a marching band. It's not even a parade. It's just people just like marching down the you know, marching down Session Road. You just get your tarpaulin and shit and then you just get I don't know, a clarinet and a bunch of people behind you and you have a parade. You can get a permit for that. For whatever reason. Maybe I should do a parade for my birthday. That'd be a cool idea. Next is, people in Baguio call things differently. So when I went to Manila, people would be like, Uy, bili ka naman ng tasty. And I'd be like, what the fuck is tasty? <laughs> so apparently, it's loaf bread. Here in Baguio City, when we buy, um, when we buy bread, it's loaf bread so i think people from other places call it tasty for whatever reason maybe it's a brand name i don't know if i share this with a lot of people pero back in college someone called national bookstore nbs now it was the first time i've ever heard it be called that way so when she said na puta na tayo nbs to buy i'd be like what the, where's nbs I, di i didn't know what nbs was all my life all my grade school life all my high school life we've been calling it national I guess the rest of the country calls it NBS. I don't know. Just comment down below if I if ako lang ba yun. Also here we call people na we're not really related to manong manang and adding and it's not really a derogatory term kasi parang in other places when you say manang it means parang old maid. Here in Baguio City manang is just ate. Manong is just kuya. Even my dad actually calls his older sister manang Julie. So that's just to clear things up, okay guys? And we call our younger siblings adding. It's always part of a normal conversation here in the city. Those are respectful terms for people you do not know but are visibly older or younger than you. Next is we in Baguio use a slew of words that other people from other places will not and cannot understand. And one example of that is ngay. And then the second example is ngarud. And then third is garud. And then it's part of our normal day-to-day -day sentences. Na hindi namin ba pansin na people didn't really understand it until it was pointed out to us. Another word that I was surprised that people could not understand is the word banking. So I started working then. Tapos sabi ko, parang banking siya. And then they were like, what's banking? And you know what? I didn't know any other word for banking, which coincidentally means. But I didn't know any other word for banking. I had to explain it pa how it was. Like, parang sinabi ko pa na, yung banking, yung ano, yung hindi pantay. Parang ganun, ganun ko pa yung sinasabi. Tapos, ah, tabingi. Ah, oh, nga, tabingi niya. Oh. And last, but finally, not the least, is memories here will always stay with you forever. And you will always look for it. Now, there's one feeling that I can't explain to my friends. There's something here that I don't feel in other places, especially during Christmas season. It's so cold, but somehow it makes you feel warm. 
Tapos, all your memories are just embedded in your... Ah, shit. Hindi ko talaga ma-explain. Basta there's something warm and reminiscent here na you cannot replicate in other places. So, I, I don't know how else to explain it, but it will always follow you wherever you go and you will always look for it no matter what you do and wherever life takes you. Now, if you guys can explain that feeling and if you share that feeling with me, comment below comment comment that feeling basta the only the closest thing that i can describe it with is it makes you feel warm there's warmth inside even if it's cold yun anyway guys that's it for this video thank you all so much and thank you so much for supporting me and this channel so I really, I know, I really appreciate you guys watching all my videos. So, so until we see each other again.